Match day is really exciting. Uh, it's the best thing you can think of when you wake up in the morning. Grown men like me become little boys again. I've been brought up with football. Every week you see me watching the game. I just absolutely love it. Football means everything to me. I'm a lifelong fan and football's just taken me on an incredible journey. I don't know what I'd do without football. It's basically life, if you know. Of course, if you are lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender, going to games can sometimes not be as enjoyable as you'd like. The atmosphere can make LGBT people feel intimidated. As a transgender woman, you create your own defence mechanisms, and one of those is that I don't really have peripheral vision anymore. I know that people look at me, and it's not always malicious, but it's always there. My partner and I went to a football match. We were held in hands, and unfortunately, like we did hear quite a few comments. They were homophobic. So I'll hear people shout things at players like, get up, you faggot. The fans around me started chanting as so well. I got really upset about it really because it, it's not very really nice to hear. Well, it makes you feel low. I'm there, but they can't identify me as a gay man. You really can never tell who is LGBT. Uh, so you have no idea who is being offended by abusive language or chants. If you hear any homophobic abuse, I think it's extremely important to report it to the steward. And unless we report it, it's not going to change. You can report via the Kick It Out app, which is a very useful tool because you can stay anonymous. Some people think that homophobic, biphobic and transphobic language is harmless, but it's not. It makes LGBT people and their friends and family feel unsafe, unwelcome and unable to be themselves. If it happens on the streets, it's going to happen within football grounds. But that doesn't mean that we need to accept it. My vision for the future is to go to a football match and just have no worries and just enjoy the match. I would love to be able to tell our kids that at one stage of our life, discrimination was quite serious in these football grounds. And look where we are today. <laughs>